How often have you tried to just flat out cold turkey quit social media in general, whether it's Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok? If you've been trying to quit social media, you've probably been doing it the wrong way. Quitting things cold turkey is usually a very tough way to go about things because then you're left with this very large vacuum of nothing that you gotta preoccupy with other things. Maybe it's with more time playing games now. Maybe it's more time watching Netflix, more time spent doing something else other than scrolling, but you're still wasting time. How often has it been where you've, in, where you've gone in with intention to do better, but then you find that your better self is just distracting yourself with other pleasures? that isn't just social media. So what I'm gonna to propose to you today is something that I am personally gonna be doing that I've found has been quite effective so far. Now granted, I've only been doing it for two days, but I already noticed quite a positive change in it. And this is gonna be the social media challenge. And it's really a quite a simple premise, honestly. The way that you want to approach this is more from a content creator mindset rather than a content consumer mindset. So what do I mean by this? Well, basically what we're gonna do for this challenge is we are gonna make it so that whenever we open an app, any social media app where you have to scroll to find more content from your friends, what you're gonna challenge yourself to do is just stay at the top. You are not allowed to scroll. You can open the app and you can look at the very first post that you see, and that's all you do. You do not scroll down any further. If you do scroll down, you have to penalize yourself, and you can use, do that by going to a counter app. And I'm gonna list the counter app that I use in the description below, and every single time that you personally catch yourself scrolling, you're gonna, ca you're gonna tell yourself, oh shit, I shouldn't be doing this, and you're gonna close the app, go to the counter app, and then count one time. And you're gonna do this every single day. You're gonna monitor how often you catch yourself scrolling on social media for one week. And so far I've only been doing it for two days and you all know how often I've caught myself scrolling? Nine times in two days. That's wild. I Like when you actually do it for yourself, you're gonna see just how addicted you are <laughs> in idle times when you're not doing anything. Maybe you're going to the bathroom and you habitually pull out your phone and you start scrolling. That's when you need to catch yourself and put on the counter. Maybe you're getting bored of a conversation you're having with someone. So you pull out your phone and you start scrolling. Catch yourself and put it on the counter. This is what the purpose of this challenge is, is you're still allowed to have the app, but you're not allowed to scroll. Now what this effectively does is it forces you to look at the top of the screen. And at the top of the screen, there's always going to be options for you to post your own content. Now, when you post your own content, more than likely nobody's gonna watch it or care for it or see it. But the fact is, is that now you're going from consuming other people's content to creating your own content. And then that's it, you don't scroll anymore, you don't scroll down, you just leave it alone, you close the app, and if you get a notification, you can check the notification bell, that's completely fine, go to the notification, because sometimes someone tags you in something, that, or sometimes you there's an event coming up that you need to be aware of, that's fine. You can check notifications and you can look at who's commenting on what, but you're not allowed to scroll. Now, where, why exactly did I base this challenge on this? Well, I based it on the fact that a lot of the people that I follow that have public social media pages, something that I've realized that they do is they post a lot, and I post sometimes, but every time that I post, all of the people that I follow that have 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 followers on their pages, they never, ever interact with my posts. But it's quite interesting that I would still interact with their posts and they reply or like or, you know, react to my comment on their posts. 
but they never do anything on my posts. Don't you think that's a little interesting? Is it because they don't like me? No. They're doing the same exact thing. They are using social media as a tool, as a way to gain a following. And this is how you go about doing it. You do not consume other people's content. You go on your page, you post your own content, and then you log off. If you get a notification, you go to the notification, you reply to the comment or, or react to the comment and do whatever, and then you log off. You spend maybe 15 seconds on the social media app, and then when you're done with it, you move on to the next thing. You go on your workout, you start meal prepping, you do your chores, you, you do other things other than doom scroll on whatever app that you're using. Now, personally, the score that I'm gonna settle with is a score, if you, like, I think that it's kind of impossible, it's gonna be impossible that in one week you get a score of zero, so don't fuck around and don't lie to yourself. Be honest, because otherwise this whole entire week is not gonna be worth it and you're just gonna be back to square one and this isn't gonna do anything for you. So, in my opinion, if you get a score of less than, or 10 or less, through the entire week, that is phenomenal. I'm already at nine in two days, so I've got one more fuck up before I pass the best possible score according to my own rating. So 10 or less score is best case scenario. On the other side, if you've got 50 or more incidents of scrolling in one week, that tells you just how much time you're spending on social media. Even if it's just one minute for each of those 50 times, that is an hour of productivity that you've effectively lost in that week that you could have had towards posting your own content or recording a video or doing whatever it is that you want to do in life. You can also kind of apply the same thing to anything else that you're trying to quit. For video games, you can tell yourself, okay, the first comp game is the last comp game is the only comp game. You don't play any more competitive, you don't play any more rounds, you just got the one round, you got your game out, boom, log off. You spend maybe 20 minutes on the game, you get it out, whether you win or whether you lose, it doesn't matter, you got it out and now you can step away and do go about doing your own thing. This could be applied to a lot of different things when it comes to anything that you're trying to wean off or you're trying to flip around and use as a content creator. So let me know how your challenge goes. Like I said, right now, I've been doing this since Wednesday and it's Friday today. So in two days, I have nine points so far. And like I said, 10 or less points is considered really, really good. So I'm gonna see where I end up at next Wednesday and I'll let you guys know. I'll upload a video then of how well I did. And I expect you guys to do the same thing. Give this challenge a try, if anything. This is gonna be your actionable step. Make sure that you post content. You don't engage with content, except for any content you post that people interact with. Absolutely interact with other people interacting with your content. But the sole purpose that you go on social media or any app is that you make content and then you log off. You don't do anything else, you don't scroll, you don't do anything except post and leave and interact and leave. You don't scroll. That is your actionable step for this week. Try it for seven days and get a full money back guarantee even though you're not paying anything except for a little bit of your attention and that's it. So yeah, so seven day social media challenge. Try it out, let me know. Subscribe, comment, etc., etc. See you around in the next one.